two yards. There's a big difference between that and fourth and maybe six inches or a yard. Yeah, you're exactly right because when it's that six inches, you just fall forward and you pick it up, right? You just go quarterback sneak. But having to move bodies, that means you actually have to execute because they know what you're going to do. How are you going to make the right play call and get everyone into the right spot and win at the line of scrimmage? That's what they did there. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. And a nice milestone reached on that last throw is here late in the season. He goes over 4,000 yards passing. And he's really thrown the ball well all season long. Had some big games along the way. He's inspired his receiving core to go out and make plays for him. Blitz coming and down he goes. After the sack, it's second and 19. And the road gets a bit tougher from here. On second down, a run with Hall. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Well, this defense, very strong in that victory from a week ago. Yeah, what stood out to me on tape, the way they were flying to the football. So that tells me that they've got all their assignments down, and they're playing with extreme confidence. A tough spot here, third and 15. Now Wilson. Oh, into a sea of defenders had intercepted. Carlton Davis picks it. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. Well, it's no secret he's had trouble this year with interceptions, and this is a bad start for him. First drive, throwing another pick. No matter who's broadcasting his game, that's how the conversation begins. Throwing too many interceptions. Can he take care of the football? If I were his backup, I'd be edging towards the coaches and saying, hey, how about giving me an opportunity? Ritter, he wants to change the play here. 52 blaster. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Off the play fake, it's Ritter. First throw of the game, going to be intercepted. So this is something we didn't see at all from this offense in the victory last week. That's a turnover. They didn't have any, but giving the ball away here in the opening quarter. I love the surprise in your voice because it's exactly what you stated. Didn't see it last week, but it's a key to their win. And it'll be a key to this game as well, protecting the football. Didn't get it done there. On first and 10, it's home. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. But you look at this defense. They've been pretty solid against the pass toward the middle of the pack number 14 in the NFL. I think if you talk to their head coach, you'll get a nice answer about how much he likes his team and what they're doing. But at the end of it, he would admit there's definitely room to improve. On second down, here's Wilson. Tight in on the corner, it's complete. That one covers 29 yards, first down. And that's how you shake off the interception you threw on the opening drive, come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one. The man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. Well, throw on first down with Wilson. He'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Had to get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tuck rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward. Incomplete pass. Again on second and ten. It's Wilson. A great effort there with time.
Touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Huskies use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. No problem there on the extra point. And that makes the score 7-0. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Here we go. Here the we offense go. now at the line, ready for their next drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now they'll shift things around. First and 10 at the 42-yard line. Now Ritter to throw on first down. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And oh, he sheds a tackle. Now he's got some space. He's still on his feet. Touchdown! Debo Samuel, 58 yards. And the Armadillos are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Extra point right down the middle, and we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive. And they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. So the field flips here as they'll go to work at the 20 now on first and 10. Here's Wilson. Finding Hardman here over the middle. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. They'll run with Hall. They're only about a yard there as he takes it from the 9 to the 8. Here's second and goal, operating from the eight yard line. To throw is Wilson. Touchdown! Brees Hall, his 21st touchdown of the season. And his guys have taken the lead. Extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 14 to 7. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Orlando with the football here to begin the second quarter. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. As they've got it as we resume action. On second down, Eckler. 
Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. First down, and they stick with Eckler. You know, get this to about the 38. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. They'll give him four yards there. And now we've got a third and three. And let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left, but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. 22 needle. Hey, green. Hey, go Fury. On third down, here's Eckler. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. Once more, here's Eckler. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Black shot. They're going to run this with a tight end. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. 52 blaster. Ready. And complete on the right side to Bennett. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 60 catches for him now on the year. This last one, a first down. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. After the interception, here's Wilson. That's caught left side by Hardman. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. They go play action now. Wilson escaping the pressure right. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. Well, you know me, whether you need it or not, I'm going to give a little unsolicited advice. Just throw it downfield out of the pocket only if you're absolutely sure. Otherwise, use your running ability and try and get those yards a safer way. Here's second and ten. Straight ahead is Hall. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 104 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. Well, he's broken off some big-time runs here in this first half. Man, let's just face it. When you go into a game, you think you've got the plays that are going to work, but when you actually get out there and they're starting to happen, your confidence rises, and he's running with terrific ability right now. Now Wilson on first down. And he takes a shot on the release. 
misses. This will be incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive. But a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Not have to gear up, try and get two more stops and escape this drive. Now a second and ten. Throwing is Wilson. And this is going to be intercepted. Carlton Davis picks it. Well, that one was in the air for an agonizingly long time. Oh, just begging to be picked off, wasn't it? It's one thing if you're throwing a ball like that, trying to throw someone open and lead them into an area. But that ball needed to be thrown with a lot more conviction. As a result, it's an easy interception. Striker, three, three. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Looking to throw it here. Ritter. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Hey, go steal. Third and short, Ritter. And that is incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. He was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. Hardman on the return. Shifts by him. A nice return that time. Gets 12 yards back. And they will take over first and 10. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And two picks thrown here in this first half alone. We'll see how that affects it. Can't wait to see where his confidence is because the great ones, they'll throw four or five picks, and while it'll hurt their team, it won't hurt their confidence. They'll think something which is wrong with the ball or the wind or something is funny. It's never about them. That's how they still say it. Into the moment and into the game. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here is third and quite a ways. Paul want to give up the middle. Taking it right down Broadway. He's on his way. Brees Hall. And touchdown. Brees Hall. With career touchdown number 96, he joins Eric Dickerson on the all-time list. And the Huskies have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Point after, right down the middle. And it's now 21-7. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Eckler going to get it again on second down. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10.
Now Ritter going to change up the look. Drill, 52. Claws red. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Open man, he completes it to Judy. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Ritter now on second down. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Greg Newsom. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. This defense had three interceptions last week. They're on pace for more than that here, two in the first half. Do not adjust your set. This is not instant replay. <laughs> this is a defense that is locked in. They're essentially running the routes for the receivers and turning them to the receivers themselves, aren't they? I mean, it is amazing what I'm seeing because the reactions of those guys back on the back seven, phenomenal. He gets it underneath to Hall. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. As the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. He's fresh off that three touchdown performance last week that got him AFC Offensive Player of the Week. So you know that he was already on their radar. Now he's maybe even a bigger plane on their radar. <laughs> bigger plane. I mean, he is the big dot on that screen that they're looking at and saying, how in the heck do we stop him? They're going to try a bunch of different things, different people covering him. But right now, he's locked in and is in sync with his quarterback. Oh, and that is well read defensively. A great job of setting the edge. And now with a touch pass, going to turn into a loss. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. They haven't made much of this great starting field position they had. Here's third and six. Here's Wilson. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked up by Kelvin Joseph. play before the half. Here's Ritter. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Ritter picked, and it's his former Bearcat teammate, Ahmad Gardner, who got it. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. So this a two-possession ball game as we get back underway, set for the third quarter. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Well, the first half, they struggled a little bit to keep pace offensively, CD, down two scores here. So how do they make some changes coming out of the locker room? Well, they've studied what they did in the first half. They've seen what the defense is thrown at them. Now they want to have a plan of attack against it. So you come out, you're not going to get all the points back on one drive. But get started on it. Start chopping into Mike Evans. He's going to go. A huge play there on the screen pass, and even 40 yards. Oh, that's the kind of play this offense desperately needed. They've got to be saying, our defense has kept us in the ball game. We're down, but we're certainly not out. And maybe that was the spark that they've been searching for. Running on first down, Eckler down inside the 40. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. 
Here's second and seven. Ritter off to play fake. Rolling to his right. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Now a give running left is Eckler. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. So that time they got the left guard with a hold. And Here let's face it, in today's ball, you might have that 330-pound guy you're supposed to clear out of there. You might need a little bit of extra help by grabbing the jersey and trying to ride him out. And this is caught. Touchdown. A great play there. 38 yards. And the Armadillos are back within a score. Extra point right down the middle. And they're back with it a touchdown at 21-14. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Flush to his right. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Evident there that he learned his lesson from the last drive. No way he was going to force a throw that time. When nothing broke open, kept it, and ended up running for a first down himself. They go play action with Wilson. Looking left sideline is complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Good job there of getting his tight end involved because he lines up on the right side of the formation, just works his way across the field. I really like how they were in sync on that one. He spotted the open gap in the zone, and his quarterback found him, and they get a first down. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Now it's Wilson. This throw is going to be incomplete. Well, every point certainly counts at this stage of the game. But after driving so far, you absolutely know they want to finish it with six instead of three. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Wilson will throw again. This pass out wide to Hall. And he'll be brought down shy of the first down marker at the 11. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Wilson. They'll roll him out right. Touchdown! Brees Hall from three yards out. And the Huskies are able to add on to that lead. And his kick is good, but flags come in. Looks like we're going to get a roughing call here on the follow-through. So they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. 
And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Come on, set. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. So they'll accept that penalty, and that'll, of course, move the football up the field. A boost here to start the drive. After the penalty, it's first and five. Beckler, they run left side. He takes this one across the 35 to the 36, a gain of about four. Only four yards on that gain, but, you know, a lot of people would say that's like getting nine in normal circumstances since this was first and five. Yeah, now your playbook's wide open here, second and very short. Yeah, I still don't think that you can count it in the stats that way at contract time. No, no, it still goes down as four, not okay. nine. <laughs> and he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. 82 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. It's Eckler again. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. Ready, Here play. now, second and nine from the 39-yard line. Go and play action. Ritter. And caught. This is Bennett, the tight end. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Eckler now between the tackles. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. They're going to hurry back to the line now. It's a game of five. Brings up second and five. Watch out, 50 opposite. Green. Ready? Eckler are going to get it again on second down. And he'll be taken down after a decent gain, and that will bring us to the end of this third quarter of play. Down. This offense so far on third down, they've been okay Watch two for field. three thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler, and he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the field, and I don't think he got there. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. Decision made for Sean McVay. They're going to go for it. They'll run for it with Eckler. Powers through, and he will take this one in for a touchdown. Austin Eckler with career touchdown number 128. He's now tied with Marvin Harrison for number nine on the all-time list. And the Armadillos have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Extra point splits the uprights, and now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. This game back with it a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. And he'll elect not to run with it. The fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. This game has really flipped on its head. Two unanswered touchdowns by the other side, and now you know, they take over here with just a very slim one-score lead. And we've seen this how many times now? Teams get a big... This is caught at the 20! And all the way in for the touchdown! Nicole Hardman, 75 yards! And the Huskies are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth-quarter lead point after right down the middle and the lead now up to 14 the kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away and this will be a touchback no return from Isabella at their own 25 yard line
Now Ritter to throw on first down. Eluding the pressure right. Oh, he'll air this one deep for Judy. And now here is another interception. Ritter picked, and it's his former Bearcat teammate, Ahmad Gardner, who got it. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They have to like the position that they are in. Fourth quarter, two-score lead, and now the ball back after the INT. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. Second and ten. Now Wilson. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. It's Kyler Duggar who picks it. Charles, whatever's going on between his ears right now, it's just not completely calculated correctly. Seven picks between last week and this week after that one. And they always say the most important part of a player is those six inches between the ears. But right now, it's all those interceptions that are going on. So whoever his trusted confidant is on the sidelines, I don't know if it's the offense coordinator, the quarterback's coach, maybe the backup quarterback, that's who he needs to get with now and get himself calm. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Ritter going to change it up. They'll look to throw here on first down. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. That'll go for a gain of seven. And it's second down. Ritter. Pressure and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. Tough spot here. Third down and 11. The Ritter back to throw. And complete on the right side to Bennett. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. So the completion good for six yards. And that's going to make it fourth down. Shovel, 38. Green Jack. Slot hey, man moves red. right. Fourth down, big play. Here's Ritter. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. A big-time sack there on fourth down. And as a result, possession switches hands. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Big stop on the turnover on downs to get the football back, and now it's just all about salting this one away. Yeah, just slowly bleed the clock away. Clock's definitely on your side. And, you know, when we talk about analytics in the game, what is this one, the advanced win metrics? Because if you take care of the football here, bleed the clock down with about 95% chance. Of oh, yeah, I'd say 95 or better. I, and I know you always say it. Every coach does. It's just protecting the football at this point. And knowing that the defensive guys, they're coming after the ball more than they are the person. They want to knock it free. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. 238 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Now Wilson. Touchdown! Brees Hall, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Huskies stretch this fourth quarter lead even further, and they are closing in on win number 12 of the season.
Extra point right down the middle. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Greg Newsom. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Point after here coming up. And that'll increase their lead to 28. Makes the score Huskies 49, Armadillos 21. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. Ready. Smash. Red. Ready. Here's Ritter after that pick six. And he will find his man, Samuel. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 23 yards on the play. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Looking to throw it here. Ritter. Flushed out right, and they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Second down throw coming for Ritter. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Ritter, he wants to change the play here. They'll look to throw now on first down. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line are able to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. And this offense on third down today, two for five to this point. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you no matter what, you keep throwing the football with confidence. Well, we're not seeing a confident thrower right now. He's off balance, the passing game's off balance, and the defense is taking advantage. First down, here's Ritter. And he's gonna be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. Quinnen Williams in there to take him down on what will take us to the two-minute warning. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Ritter will set up to throw it. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. And he'll go down at the 26 following a gain of six. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Ritter throwing on third down. And this is caught. Well, they get one back. Picking up the late touchdown here, but still down big. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. And that'll cut the lead back now to 21. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And the hands team does its job. They're able to secure it. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing else, now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation. And now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find a better way to do it. But, yeah, this game's pretty much done for them. Gets past one man. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 
Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. First down, Huskies. Let's go now. Wilson wants to throw it. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. Well, with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full playbook no matter who's on the field. And a nice move will yield nothing as he's stopped behind the line. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds remaining in the football game. Third down and 13. Play action. It's Wilson. That's caught left side by Hardman. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Locates Hardman for another catch. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. to the ground with Hall. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. They'll look to run with Hall. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. Brees Hall. That's his 19th rushing touchdown of the year. And the Huskies up the lead to four scores now here in this fourth quarter. The extra point splits the uprights, and that'll increase their lead to 28. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. At their own 25-yard line. On the set. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Greg Newsom. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense, but they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. The Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the